Potato lovers unite. Today we're taking the train to Spud City. I want there to be crunch. <laughs> this is what I call the potato dream. Beetroot and potato. Get excited mm. because we're about to go into carb overdrive. Goodness me. Mm. Mm. That's right, we're trying each other's potato dishes. The best food that ever existed. Potatoes, yes! Boo, boo, boo! Hey, I'm Luisa and I'm a food photographer. Potatoes to me, I think of steak, but today I'm not doing steak and potatoes, I'm doing something different. Potato of a sweet kind. You can inject so much personality into a potato and that is why I love them. You can have them in fries, you can have them baked, you can have them as chips, you can have them mashed, you can have them smashed, you can have them as crack. It can also be a dessert. In the Philippines, we only eat potatoes on special occasions. It's always celebratory. So when trying the dishes, I want to go to Flavor City and I want to want to eat it again and again. You need the potatoes to be the hero. Salt your potatoes. Listen to me, bitches. Now bring me the food. Bring it on. <laughs> My dish is called pink potato salad. And the reason why it's pink is we're adding beetroot. It's actually my mom's recipe. When I first arrived in Australia, and that was when I was 18, it was actually served as a salad like that. And I, I thought like I've never had beetroot before. And I thought, I really like beetroot. So the first thing that we need to do is peel the potatoes and you cut it in cubes. You put it in a pot, let it boil for 15 to 20 minutes until it's nice and soft and cooked all the way through. And then put it in a bowl. And then you need to put your sour cream, mayonnaise, ranch dressing, and then salt and pepper. And then you mix it all the way through. And then once you mix it all through, you need to put it in a fridge because you want all those flavors to go. The next day, after 24 hours, it's nice and cold. Add your beetroot, mix it all the way through. To serve, add your honeyed walnuts. This will just add an extra layer of sweetness. Add the mint, so you have the fresh and the crunch and the softness. Boom, yes. Enjoy. Look at this stunning pink fairy floss color. The aesthetics are here. I want to Instagram this dish. Uh, uh, I am here for it. It almost goes well with the shirt. When I first saw it, I thought it could have been a dessert because it's so colorful. I think a potato salad is quite a divisive dish because people seem to either love it or hate it. You better bloody do it right because it's not complicated to fuck up. <laughs> Big mouthful. Mmm. Mm. Crunchy. Wow. Mm -hmm. Very good combination. I wouldn't have thought of it. Beetroot and the refreshing touch for the uh, mint leaves on top. The potato is perfectly cooked. It's fluffy. We've got texture, we've got colour, we've got flavour. One of the main characteristics I'm getting are these walnuts. They're crispy and soft and with the potato, they just elevate it so much. Really creamy. Good balanced flavour. Not too sweet. It's crunchy, but refreshing. It's modern, it's exciting, and it's not that soggy, ugh, traditional potato salad that you would get at your average barbecue. So my final score, an 8.5 out of 10. Eight and a half. So glad that I got served this, and I want to give this a nine out of 10. So today I'm going to be whipping up one of my favourite dishes, a brown butter and truffle potato stack. I used a milfoy, a classic French dessert, as my inspiration. So the first step in making my dish today is to put your potatoes through a mandolin until they're super thin and lovely. Then on the stove we're going to make a really delicious brown butter with some garlic in it. Then mix together the potato slices, the truffle oil, the brown butter, the salt and the pepper. Press it into a baking dish until it's really flat. Bake it until it's completely cooked through but not brown. Put it into the freezer until it's rock hard. Then take it out, cut it into slices, deep fry it until it's perfectly crispy and crunchy. Then I'm going to serve my potato stack with a really sweet, delicious leek puree, which will perfectly complement the earthy truffle. What? Fancy. It looks very French. It smells really good. It's like 
a potato layer cake. Oh yes, I can see different layers like a milfoy. I like the combination of soft and crispy. Oh, I just love the fact that you can hear that crunch. Okay, here we go. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. 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 Wow. Mm. 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 It's a good combination, leek and potato. It's a little bit of a modern version. So heavenly. That's a very pleasant surprise right there. The potatoes were super soft in the centre. They were absolutely delicious. Yeah, and I can taste the hint of truffle. I like that it's a hint. The uh, puree really adds a whole new dimension of flavours. The chef who put this together really had in mind to elevate the potato. Yeah, the potato is still the star dish right here because it's creamy, it's crunchy. That plus that, the potato, equals a delight. This is Flavour Town. And it wins my heart. Mm -mm. <laughs> I'm going to give this dish a 10 out of 10. I would give it a 9 out of 10. So I would rather be round and a little bit thicker so that you could actually bite through. I would give that an 8. I'm always going to go for a sweet potato. So today I'll be preparing, cooking and serving my caramelized sweet potato. I believe my sweet potato today is gonna to stand out because it's a dessert potato. Think of toffee apple, but the potato version. So firstly, we start off with peeled sweet potatoes and I'll be cutting it across like in round shapes, about say one to one and a half uh, centimeters in thickness in a hot oil pan and I'm using canola oil today. We then add your brown sugar or raw sugar if you don't have any brown sugar. Fry them until they're a bit golden brown and just flip it every now and then until you see your sweet potatoes coated with the brown sugar or raw sugar and put them in a non-stick tray to cool down. So you can serve it any way you like but today I'm gonna be putting them on bamboo skewers just to give it a bit more fun. Mmm! Goodness me. Oh, that's so nice. Kind of like a lollipop. This really reminds me of what we used to have for snacks growing up. It's kamote kyu. We've got some dripping sugar, delicious. Kamote kyu is, kamote is sweet potato. Kyu is short for the kyu stick, but not barbecue sticks. <laughs> <laughs> and you buy it like as a street food. So at first glance, this dish isn't giving me too much. It's quite inconspicuous. All right, here we come. Mmm. Oh. Wowee. That is something unique. I have not tasted anything like this dish before. I like the crunch. And I like the additional salt on top. So it's like sweet and salty. I can hear that. That is caramelized sugar and it is bloody delicious. I would never have thought to do this, so I think it's very creative. What I really like about this dish is it's sweet, it's salty and it's delicious. So for that reason, I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10. Maybe we could have just bought it up a little bit more with maybe a bit of a creamy sauce or some nuts or something. What would level this up would be the sweet potato that's white inside. I think it's the purple one that you buy. I want to score it six. Is that generous enough? I'll say one more point for nostalgia. There you go, give you seven. Boom. <laughs> that's quite honest, isn't it? No, I like it, I like it. <laughs> I want to score this potato dish a 7.5 out of 10. Oh, do you know what would be perfect on this? Sesame seeds, they could have done that. So today I am creating a potato rusty. I'm making a nice, thick, chunky one. I basically base this off a rusty you'd probably find in Europe. So to make my dish, what I need to do is use brushed potatoes. These are going to get the best texture for a rusty. Time to peel it and then we're putting in a food processor with a grater attachment. That's going to make sure that it's nice, long and slinky and I get lovely pieces of potato. There they are, how great do they look? Now I'm going to pop that in a bowl, we're going to add some ghee in and then season with salt and pepper. Stir it around, it's as simple as that. Now I'm frying it on a skillet, so I've got some ghee melting in the bottom of the skillet. I'm adding the potato on and putting it in thick chunks. Now that's going to make one giant large potato rusty disc. Yes, the chefs are going to love it. And I just cook it for 15 minutes on each side on a very low heat. 
That makes it go crispy on the outside and soft and fluffy in the middle. Now it's time to plate up. I'm gonna add some sour cream on top with some chives and then season generously with some salt because salt and potatoes are a match made in heaven. And this is my dish. It's gonna win the competition for me today. Good size, not too thick, not too thin, very crispy. Ooh, I like the the softness in the middle. So it looks like a hash brown but the pancake version. I have a massive soft spot for the potato rusty. I went through a phase probably about two years ago where I ate it for breakfast every single morning for six months. I like it. A really perfectly shredded potato. Smelling good. A moment of truth. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Very crispy. Wow. We have a real contender here. Um, really good balance texture, really good flavour. The chives really does it for me as well. And I can see a sprinkle of sea salt there, which is really good. I don't know if you can get any better than this. Maybe if you add bacon, I'm impressed. I like the addition of the sour cream because it gives it that acidity. I love it. One more. It is perfectly seasoned. I could definitely eat all of this right now. All of it, all of it. My family would love this dish. I say nine and a half. What would make this a 10 for me? A bigger slice. <laughs> it's bloody delicious. I'm Why are you taking it away from me? Would happily eat it again. And for that reason, I'm going to give it a nine out of 10. The technical aspect of it, and I can't see any binding agent, which is really impressive. Like it hasn't fallen apart because I probably would have put like sort of eggs if, if it were me. But look at it, it's really sturdy. I would rate this a out of 10. The winner of the Cheshire Chavez potatoes dishes is Tanika. Oh, thank you. Wow, I'm so thrilled. Glad you enjoyed the dish as much as I do. Tanika, you bloody legend. Those potatoes were amazing. Love them. They put me into potato heaven. Did it look like I died? I can die again. <laughs> thank you for watching, everyone. Tell us, what dish should we do next?